Hey guys, it's Vicky again with another tutorial. Um, a lot of you asked me to do a background tutorial on how to change your walls, maybe not from color, but to white this time. So, this is one of the pictures I've gotten to a white background. Here, let me show you the originals here. So I'm gonna show you how to make this wall on a wall that's maybe darker like this one. So begin with Control J to make a copy of your original. Next, like I taught you in the other tutorial, you are just gonna select the background and if you get some pieces like this that's not included in the selection, you can go here to this little minus tool right here, subtract from selection. You can just go over the parts you didn't select, like this right here, and just deselect. Then again, you go to Refine Edge. If you don't want to hear this again, you can just skip to a little bit later. But you just go over the hair like I told you in the other tutorial. Here, you can smooth it out, feather it, and contrast it if you'd like. Shift the edge maybe a little bit, whatever works best. A little bit less feathering. And okay. Then you have your background selected. You're gonna control J that. So you have a separate layer for just your background. And you're gonna control and click on that layer to select the background. And you're gonna go here to the brightness and contrast tool and just make the brightness like right up there and contrast all the way down. You're gonna again control and click on the layer on the layer mask to select that selection and then go to vibrance and again turn that all the way down. Oh, I missed a little bit. That happens. You can either select that with the quick selection tool like this And then go to your adjustment layers and just control backspace on both of them and you'll get whatever is on that layer on here. Okay, next you can see there's a lot of grain on the wall. You don't like that, I don't like that. So we're gonna go here back to the background layer. I'm gonna make another copy of that layer and filter, go to blur, gosh and blur. And you see that it's really smooth set out a lot so just press ok and you can see there's some on me so you're just gonna go to here to this layer right here where the background just like that layer and invert it by pressing control shift I and then pressing delete and that will remove all of the blur that was given from the other layer Okay, so you can see what we have so far. The vibrance just really takes out all of the color in it, so it looks white. And this just turns it up all the way, so it really gives the impression of a white wall. And the blur just smooths it out a lot. You can keep blurring it to get it smoother, and then again, control click the layer, control shift I to invert the layer, and delete to get that off you. Okay. So it looks pretty good now, so if you want, like I said in my other tutorial, you can make another layer. You can control click layer of the background where the selection is. And go here, make sure the white is on the back. And control backspace to get like really, really, really white. But we don't want it too white because it really loses a lot of the texture. Like I said in the other tutorial, so just bring that opacity down a little bit more. And you can bring it down a little bit more. It's whatever you, you like the best. And there you have it. That's your white background. Again, it might look, your edges might look a little bit off. So you can just do this for touch up reasons. And I want you to go to here to curves or to the brightness, whichever you like more. I'm going to use the curves this time. I'm going to bring that up, 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 up. Let, let. And then I'm gonna control backspace. Make sure the black 
is on the background so you delete basically everything that's on there then with the brush make sure your white is on here and make sure your brush is a soft one go over your edges so it looks like you know the brightness is coming from one side obviously here is way too much that's a lot of white so just bring the opacity down a little bit you can see that it has the effect of you know more brightness in that area and you can go in in other parts of your face so you know here your glasses Make sure all the lights are lighter here and you can see that it might be a little too much but let me just bring it down here Oh, it's a little bit better. So you can see the edges aren't so obvious there. And if you're still bothered by all that edge, you can come here to these layers and just apply those layers to this. And you can see the edges disappear a little bit more. And it looks a little bit more realistic to the lighting. Whoa! You can go here. Again, with more time you can fix it up. This is just pretty quick, so I'm not doing it perfectly. You can go here, whatever you think will look best. And let's see the other. This is the one I did. Of course, there's some color correction and all that stuff. And for my glasses, you can see it looks like a solid white. Basically, what I just did was make a new layer. And with the brush tool, went over it make sure it's white it went over it. pretty simple nothing really to it and it just makes it look a lot better whoa my hand is not steady at all pretend I just did that and you should end up with this after all the color correction and all that stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other suggestions, DM me, comment on this video. I'll probably do the floating tutorial next, how to make yourself look like you're floating. Hope you liked the video and I hope I can keep making these because they're actually pretty fun to make. Subscribe if you can, spread the word, like, the video and I hope you keep watching them. Bye bye!